Hey, it's Katie. Today's class is a slow flow yoga practice, which just means that for each pose, we will hold them for two to five breaths just to feel a little deeper stretch or posture into that pose. I have a blanket, a bolster, and two blocks. Anything that resembles those shapes and textures is totally fine. And if you have zero props, this class is still totally accessible for you. So grab a mat, bring a friend, and let's begin. Let's begin in child's pose today. Big toes touching, knees wide as your ribs, a little wider. Hands reaching above your head on the floor, forehead on the mat. If your forehead doesn't reach the mat, you can use a block or a blanket to bring the earth closer to you. Then begin to just settle into your breath and your body. As you feel the weight of your body onto the mat, Paying attention to your breath today. Follow your breath in your nose and out. Taking a few rounds of breath. Then opening up the shoulders and chest a little bit, take your hands into prayer hands and bend your elbows, moving your hands behind your head. It's getting a little bit of a shoulder stretch. Maybe opening up the chest a little bit, moving your heart center towards the mat. And slowly release, your hands back down. And on an inhale, roll up, tabletop. Hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Crown of the head reaches forward. Just take a moment here to settle in. Hands on the mat, palms on the mat. But with your finger pads, grip into the mat a little extra with your finger pads. On an inhale, belly drop, head lifts, cow pose, and then exhale to cat. Rounding the back, tucking the tailbone, dropping the head. Inhale through to cow pose. And then exhale to cat. So this is a slow flow class, but we are moving on the breath for this point just to Warm up our body, warm up our spine, connecting body and breath, inhaling to cow, exhaling to cat. Let's do two more rounds. One more time. Nice. And then coming back onto your hands and knees, tabletop. And then slowly round up so that you're kneeling onto your knees. Take your left foot out to the side. So I'm not your mirror today. I'm sorry. Left foot out. Trust, your, trust my voice. Trust yourself. And then reach your arms up overhead. And then exhale. Touch your left hand to your left leg. Reaching over with your right. Feeling a nice side body stretch. Pull your navel into your spine. 
Inhaling up through the center, reach, and then exhale. Other side, right hand to the mat and reaching over with the left. Really exploring poses today and reaching, taking time with our breath. And on the inhale, come all the way up, back to on your knees, <coughs> and right foot out to the side. Inhale, arms up, and then exhale. Right hand lightly touches your right leg, reaching over with the left. Very nice. Inhale up, and then exhale. Left hand down, reach over with the right. Nice and long side body stretch. Keep your hips open towards the long edge of your mat. Very good. Inhaling back up through the center. Take your hands to your hips, kneeling on your knees and come back through for tabletop. Curl your toes under, push up and back, downward facing dog. And pedal out your feet. And twist your hips back and forth. Pushing your hands into the earth to push your hips up and back like an upside down V. Let your head hang in between your arms and your gaze is towards your thighs or towards your navel, whatever feels better for you. We'll be here for about five breaths. You can find ujjayi breath here. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose, making the sounds of ocean waves. And then on your last exhale, look forward and walk your feet nice and slow to the top of your mat. Inhaling brings you up halfway. And then just exhale forward and fold. Ragdoll pose. Let your feet be as wide as your hips. Hang your head, torso on top of your thighs. Hands on the mat. Or grabbing opposite elbows. Feeling just a gentle sway from side to side. Nice. Slowly release. Begin to stand up. One vertebrae at a time. Head comes up last, rolling your shoulders up. Back and down, mountain pose at the top of your mat. Hands in prayer at heart center. Root down through your feet. Wiggle your toes, lightly set them down. Engage your quads, engage your core. Drop your shoulders away from your ears and connect with your breath. On an inhale, sweep your arms up. Maybe they, your fingers touch overhead. And then exhale, forward fold. Dive forward and bend your knees as much as you want. And glue your torso to your thighs and begin to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And then on an inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands to your shins, flat back, straighten your legs. Crown of the head reaches forward. You should also feel a really nice hamstring stretch here. Rooting down through your feet. And then place your hands on the either side of your feet and step your left foot back for runner's lunge. Take your right foot to the right a little bit, maybe left foot to the left, taking up a lot of space on your mat, front to back and left to right. Take your right knee to the mat, left knee to the mat, y'all. Left knee to the mat, untuck your toes and come up on Janayasana. Low lunge, 
sending your energy down into the earth and up into the sky. So you can imagine an arrow coming from your center that points up to the sky and an arrow that points straight down. Reach for the sky. And then cactus up your arms. So bending your elbows, keeping your fingertips pointed up, opening up your chest and collarbone. Maybe you have a baby back bent here. Really feeling your chest open, your heart center expanding. And then reach back to the sky. Place your hands back to the earth, back to runner's lunge. Step your right foot back to meet the left for high plank. Again, just like tabletop pushing down into the earth, doming our back to the sky. You can always go on your knees at any point. Just energizing the body, the arms, and the core. And then this time, do drop to your knees and slowly bend your elbows by your ribs. Little baby push-up. And then inhale through to high cobra. Elbows are slightly bent. Heart center is shining forward, looking to the sky. And then curl your toes under and exhale back to downward facing dog. Really nice, y'all. Look between your hands and step your left foot forward, runner's lunge. You can take up a lot of space on your mat. And drop your right knee to the mat. Untuck your toes. If your knee's talking to you, you can grab a blanket or double up your mat for a little extra cushion. And then rising up on Janayasana. Maybe reaching back a little bit for a back bend. Reach to the sky and then cactus open your arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together so there's like a little place between your shoulder blades. Pretend you have a pencil back there and you're trying to hold it. Don't let your pencil go. And then reach to the sky. Hands back towards the mat. And then step your right foot up to meet your left. Halfway lift, flat back, four and fold, and then inhaling, slowly rise all the way up, hands in prayer at heart center. Really nice. On an inhale, chair pose. Sit back just like you're sitting in a chair. Look down at your toes, make sure you can see them. If not, sit back a little farther. Doesn't have to be a really low chair, it can be a little baby chair. Maybe you're pretending you're sitting on a stool <laughs> instead of a chair. Find your breath. Nice, and then forward fold, exhale. Inhaling brings you to a half lift. And then exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back, runner's lunge. Set yourself up again here. And then big inhale, rising up, crescent lunge. Hmm. Pushing down is the ball of the left foot. Reaching to the sky. So we went from low lunge on our knee up to high lunge. Nice, and then reaching to the sky, and then open up cactus arms again. Squeeze the pencil, open up your chest, open up your heart center, fixing ourselves from when we type or look at our phones. Inhaling up, and then sweep your arms by your side, lazy lunge beginning to put your weight into your right foot, taking as many baby steps as you need. Warrior three, left foot comes off the mat, Strong, straight left leg. You got it. And then slowly set it back down for crescent. Whoo! <laughs> Open up. 
warrior two <clears throat> to the right, right knee over right ankle, hips open to the long edge of your mat, bring your shoulder blades down your back. Find your warrior two, strong warrior two. Take up space, be big. Flip your right palm to the sky. Reach back, peaceful warrior. Keep your lunge, reaching overhead with your right hand. And then exhale, side angle pose. Really nice. Forearm to thigh. Be careful not to dump your weight into your forearm. Lift out of your waist. And this time on an inhale. Reaching back again, straighten your front leg. Reverse triangle. Legs are straight, reaching overhead with the right hand. And then coming back through center, send your hips back towards the back of your mat and start to fold from the waist. Triangle pose. And if you need to take a brief pause to grab a block, please do so. This is your practice. Hand on a block, the, your calf or your shin or the floor. And reconnect with your breath. So you're working your right torso or your torso over your right leg. Opening your chest again. Opening your collarbones and heart center towards the sky. Nice. And set your block to the side. Slowly come up, all the way up. Ah, star pose. Point your toes towards the long edge of your mat. Feet are parallel. Reach to the sky. And then exhale, forward fold. So with anything forward fold, let gravity do the work for you. Gravity's pulling down your upper body and the force of the earth pushing into your feet. You can walk your hands towards the back of your feet, towards the other side of your mat. And then hands under your shoulders, halfway lift, hands to your hips. And big inhale, stand all the way back up, <clears throat> star pose. Exhale, warrior two, to the left. Find your warrior two on the left. Then cartwheel your hands down, runner's lunge. <clears throat> so from here, have your block handy nearby. And on an inhale, coming up, pyramid pose. Step your right foot up, maybe 12 or 18 inches. Straighten both legs, or straightenish both legs. And hands can be on a block or the floor. Flat back, reach the crown of the head forward, and slowly exhale over your left leg. your block to the side and then exhaling step back runner's lunge with your left foot forward and then rising up crescent lunge on the left <clears throat> making the adjustments you need to be in your crescent lunge and then reach to the sky and cactus your arms opening up your chest You got it. Really shining your heart forward. And then reach back up to the sky. Sweep your arms by your side, leaning over your left leg. Lazy lunge. 
breaths. Bring your right foot off the ground. One long line of energy from your head to your hips to your right heel. You got it. Three, two, and one. Carefully set back down for crescent and open up. Warrior two to the left. Big warrior twos. And flipping your left palm to the sky, reaching back. Peaceful warrior, keep your lunge. And then side angle pose on an exhale. Very nice. Inhaling back up. Reverse triangle. Straighten your front leg. Reach back with your left hand. And then on an exhale, send your hips well towards the front of your mat. And then reaching out with your left hand, taking your hand to your shin or to a block. Triangle pose. So your whole front body, your hips, your ribs, shoulders, and collarbone are all open towards the long edge of your mat. So just the way we live, there's a lot of tendency to collapse in on our chest. So we're really trying to work on opening up our chest, our torso, our hips, but specifically the place near our heart. Reaching up to the sky, very nice. Moving your block. And then on an inhale, pivot yourself up, star pose. Reach to the sky, hands drop behind your back, interlace your fingertips, let your palms touch. Send your chest center forward again, <laughs> opening up your collarbones, and then bow forward. Let your arms hang where they may. Let your head hang, totally relax. And let your hands go, come towards the mat under your shoulders. Halfway lift, hands on your hips. Big inhale all the way up, hands to the sky. Exhale, warrior two, back to the front. Very nice. <sighs> Sitting some more two just for a breath. Yes, we're holding poses a little longer today. And then cartwheel your hands down. Runner's lunge. Then you have your block ready. On an inhale, step your left foot up 12, 18 inches. It's up to you and just as needed. Square your hips off to the front edge of your mat. And take your hands on your block or the floor. Flat back. And then let go, pyramid pose. With every inhale, you lengthen your spine. And every exhale, deepen the stretch. Really nice. Then move your block to the side. Coming back to runner's lunge. And then on an inhale, just bring your left foot up to meet your right. Halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. And then inhaling, chair pose again. We won't be here long. And then stand all the way up, hands at heart center. Really nice work. <sighs> Then have your block ready again, somewhere near you, maybe on the mat. And taking your feet, you'll have your feet, your toes maybe spilling off the sides of your mat. Pointing your toes out a little bit to the side. And then just gently bend into a squat. You can use your hands on, there we go, 
on the ground for support. Or even better, take your block under your hips and sit on it. Malasana. And picking your elbows to the inside of your thighs. Some pressure either way. Hands in prayer at heart center. So block or no block is totally fine. Really working on opening up our hips. And just also keep a conscious mind on your collarbones and heart center shining forward. Awesome. Really nice. Move the block out from you and just settle down onto your bottom. Take your legs out in front of you. Depending on how you feel, you might want to take your feet about hip width distance apart or heel toe them together. And bend your knees and then let your torso hang onto your legs. So a nice forward fold. Remember, gravity is doing the work for you. No need to pull or strain, and then start to walk your heels out away. So it doesn't matter how straight your legs are, just really working on feeling a stretch in the hamstrings. And keeping your belly glued to your thighs. And then slowly round up. Nice. Spin towards the side of your mat or not, depending on how you're facing is fine. And then taking a wide leg V stance. It can be a little B, V or a big V, doesn't matter the angle. And then sit up tall. It's helpful sometimes to have a block. You can lean forward and place your forearms on the block or the floor. <clears throat> And just letting your body do the work. Follow your breath. Nice. And coming up. Move the block to the side. Pull your knees together. Soles of the feet together. Baddha Konasana butterfly pose. Bring your heels as close as you can to yourself. And then wrapping your hands around your feet. Sit up tall. Here we go. Heart center forward again. Opening your collarbones. And fold forward. Great, slowly sit up, bring your knees together, maybe shake out your legs a little bit, and then setting up for final relaxation pose. You can lay flat onto your back if you want, or you can set up a really cozy bolster prop. I've got a blanket, I have a block on the medium setting, and then a block on the higher setting right behind it. I'm going to get my bolster and set it up at an angle here. Just making sure that, there we go. I'm just making sure that everything's stable so when I lean on it, it doesn't go anywhere. And then sitting on the blanket. And my feet come to the edge of my mat, leaning back. And of course, being flat on the mat is fine. But sometimes there's certain times you need a higher system, a prop. Arms coming out to the side. Also doing this lets your chest open a little bit more. Arms coming out to the side, collarbones opening, chest opening. Shavasana, feet wide. Let your body be heavy. Let everything melt into the earth. Your breath is natural. Thoughts come into your mind. It's totally natural. Just let them go. 
and come back to your breath, gentle breath. Shavasana. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Begin 
making bigger movements with your wrists and ankles. If you're on a bolster, place the palms of your hands next to your side. Just push yourself straight up. If you're on the floor, fold your knees to your chest and roll over to one side. And either way, make your way to a comfortable seated position on the mat. Hands in prayer at heart center. It's an honor and a privilege to share this practice with you today. Practice where you are. Namaste.